What is up guys, the second episode of subscriber sets is here. We are going to be using this core that my man Ultra Bolts suggested. So it's a uh, lead Greninja with hazards and then Zapuria gets an evasion boost if they defog, which is pretty cool and you have a sub too so you get multiple chances to dodge a move. Um, did he say anything else? It works best on some sort of HO and yeah, he pathed me his team, which is basically Aurora Veil, this is pretty standard. But it's it's with a um, with a superior instead of some other month, and yeah, we ended off in like the twelve hundreds the last time. I'm gonna do my best to get this all higher up to like sixteen, seventeen, eighteen hundred, so we will get good opponents. Um, I probably show most of my laddering, uh, maybe all of my laddering. But all is coming around the corner, like I said in the last recording. So I'm gonna get smashed. Um, all the triads are on the ladder, but yeah, don't want to think too much. I'll just leave it Gren. This guy does not does have a Mew, which is his defogger, I assume. This is probably Scarf, but I'm gonna get up a teeth spike. Because if he If he defogs with his Mew, he has to bring it in and he will get poisoned. So this is definitely amazing. And do we know he's locked into close combat? I don't know what he's saying. What is this? This is a Sash Hazard Leap Greninja. This was used in World Cup, so I don't know why he's so confused. So what he can do here is go into Rotom Wash. I'll just save this and go into Landris in case he stays in. We know his uh, Choice Scarf confirmed. And now we'll know he's probably gonna go to Rotom. He's definitely not gonna stay in. So we can double into Superior here because that covers the Rotom Wash and it covers the Mew. And he goes into Landris. Okay, I didn't think he would go into Landris. Um, if this is C Fly, this is bad. This could definitely be Z-Fly. Um, so I'm gonna go back to my own landers. I don't really agree with this play there, but it worked out. Uh, now I just lost all my momentum. That sucks a lot. But yeah, he's gonna go Mew and we're gonna go Superior here to get the evasion boost if he defogs. As he does just defog, there's the evasion boost. <laughs> Let's see if he can put in some work with this disgusting set. And now we can sub up. He does have Ice Bean and we're gonna sub up again. We're weakening his Mew and we're gonna dodge it eventually. As we dodge! <laughs> this set is so disgusting. I love that it's working in the first game already. So now we can um, Leaf Storm or Leaf Seed. I think we just Leaf Storm up to get the boost. Now we can pick up his Mew. Um, should I sub down to try and get... If I sub down, I can. I, th I should have just attacked him. That was a misplay. Um, but I have my evasion boost, so I'm gonna try. Because I have too much chances. It's not my best play, but I'm just gonna try it. My best play was just attacking him when I was healthier. And yep, we're gonna just HP fire because I'm not trying to miss. So I played that poor. I should have just attacked when I was at 60 something. But I was trying to get greedy and just win with the Serp. Now I can either go to Infernape or into. Uh, E speed Zyga, yep, exactly. I'm gonna go on my Landris here. Yeah, I didn't play that optimal. I wasted a lot of health. That's Choice Bennett, I think. And I'm gonna get up. He's gonna go to his own Landris. I was thinking I can get up my Rocks here. Um, I can also double into Ninetales to get up my Aurora Veil. I think that's a good play, doubling into Ninetales. I expected him to go on his own Landris, but this time he went into Rotom. But that's completely fine, because I outspeed this. And I got more Veil. He's probably... Yeah, just Volt Switch. I thought he would burn me first. And behind the screens up, I can probably either hit and go for Hypnosis if I have... Oh, I have Anchor. I didn't have... A, I don't... I thought I had Hypnosis. Um, Zygarde probably eats every hit from this, so I'm just gonna go hard Zygarde. Unless he has HP Ice. Yeah, he just flat this. Hopefully he doesn't burn me. And now I can just go to town and set up with this. Um, I can just drag dance once. After that, I can coil up. Mm, it was hard to Zygarde. This this should die to thousand arrows because it's a, it's a guardable. Guardable is not that bulky. Yeah, it does just die. And we still have five turns of Aurora Veil. Vale. So he's gonna go for Bandit Outrage here. I think. So I have to call it real quick. Let me pause it. Okay, so I I'm imported my sets now. I go to Zygarde custom set here. Um, where's the Zygarde custom set? There it is. 
And let's say it's Zygarde tries Bennett. We already know he's Bennett from the E speed damage. And it does 122%, but if you have Aurora Veil up. Well, let's say Reflect, because it works like Reflect. Where is it? Oh, it's just 61 to 72 if he's banded. Um, so I don't think he can kill me. <laughs> Do I kill him with plus 2 T arrows? I don't. So I think I'm just gonna go Magina here, because I think he's forced to go for Outrage. As he goes out into Landris. That made no that made no sense in my opinion because um, I could have just kept setting up. I guess he predicted me to go for outrage. Mm, I think Scarf Ape still outspeeds me, so there's no point in shift gearing up. He's probably gonna go into Rotom here on the Ice Beam. So I think I'll call mine up. He stays in, yeah, this guy's bad. I don't know why. Why are you trying to sag your landers, dude? Like people like this get me mad as fuck. So if he goes to Rotom now. Good play, but he just sacks it. I don't understand why you wouldn't go Rotom, like that made no sense. It's pretty obvious that these Majinus were mixed me with Ice Beam. And he goes under Zygarde and T arrows is broken, so we cannot just switch out. Can can we live this? Because we have our veil up. Uh, Majuna custom set. Yeah, it's a roll actually, but it's in it's slightly in my favor to live. I think my better play is going nine tails. Nah, I'll just go nine tails after. I, th I don't think it matters. So he doesn't get the roll, so I think we just win now. And he said, "Fuck this game, Elmo." So this guy's getting salty. <laughs> there was a roll in my favor. Um. I think he got a min roll, so he's getting mad. Yeah, he, he's getting mad as fuck. Um, I'm not gonna say anything to this guy, I'm just gonna like let him think that it mattered because afterwards I just go to Night Hats, I set up my Aurora Veil. And my own Zyga destroys him from there pretty much. Yeah, I'm pretty yeah, my own Zyga just wins the game from there unless he hexes me. And we will just sack this to see what he locks himself into. We don't need this. Uh, I could have all sacked my... Now my Greninja can still gank the Rotom potentially. So now I can go my Zygat setup and I think the game is over from there. As long as he doesn't burn me here, I just DD. Mm -mm. I just DD twice. Oh, I just T arrows. Uh, if this doesn't OK, it doesn't it doesn't really matter if this doesn't OK, but it does OK. And yeah, this guy's already getting salty. My <laughs> superior I only worked once with the... I'm just gonna E-speed. Because that's my safest play in case he like, crits me or something. And yeah. I'm just gonna say GG, this guy's probably mad, I don't care. Like, Ice Beam came in handy once. Uh, it's fun. I thought he would. I thought he would gonna say, "Yeah, I'm salty," and he thought he would get salty as fuck. But yeah, let's get another one. It was cool that <laughs> that we could dodge one ice beam. So let's see. This guy's a cool team. So let's have fun. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave the lead Greninja. I'm not gonna think um, about it too too much. The set is pretty cool. Like the combination of these two ones is pretty cool. Uh, Zygat behind the screens is disgusting. You guys notice if you have, um, if you watched NJMP, like talk about it or play with it. Um, I'll just get up a teeth back again because it hits a lot on his team. It also hits his defog Tapufini. He tried to over predict there because he didn't know that I'm Sash, obviously. Mm. What is my best play here? Zygarde destroys him if I get rid of the chestnut, so it might not be worth it to go hard Zygarde. Yeah, I think I can risk, I think I can afford to set my Greninja. He might have taunt on it to stop the veil from going up. Uh, I know Zygarde is really important this match, but... Yeah, I'm not gonna go hard into Zygarde, I just said it's too important. But I kinda wanna keep my Greninja, so I'm gonna go into my superior here. He goes on the top of Fini. Oh my lord, now I look like a god. I did not predict that. I predicted him to go for T-Bold or HP Ice again. Um, 
So now I look like Jesus. I can substitute here. If he defogs, I get an evasion boost. Oh my lord. No, I don't get an evasion boost because I saw... No. I don't know how... Ah. So if I just leaf stormed or lead... If I just leaf stormed, I would have been in such a good position. I probably should have leech seated predicting the switch, but I'm still in a good position as long as I hit. Damn, I would have just swept him. I can just substitute spam here. I would have just swept him if I got that evasion boost, I think. But yeah, we can just spam sub again. If he has a roost, he has a roost. That's cool. This set is disgusting, even without an evasion boost. <laughs> like, I don't care. Like, we're only losing 5 or s we're losing like 7% a turn. This set is already putting in the work. I haven't used the set since Auras. Subseed Serp, it's, it's just great. It beats stuff like Turan 1v1, kinda. If they go to the chest now, this might have like. I don't know, I'm just gonna get damage off. This might have like Roar or something, or. I don't know why he thinks it's the counter, but to be fair, he doesn't really have a good answer. He just has to sack something to break this up. I just. If he's Fist Death, this might just die. Okay, he lives. So he hammer him, that sucks, that sucks. Sorry. Um, he just disconnected. So this guy just missed and had enough. So he was... I would have tweeted KO in there. And then he would have came in later. And he would have... I don't know how he would have revenged me. Because I was still pretty healthy. And he would have probably gone to Zardus to scare me out. I'm not sure. But yeah, I don't think this guy's coming back. So I'll grab another one. And we're playing versus... What is this? Mega Beedrill Squad. I think they've seen this team on the forums, but I'm not gonna be scum and look up all his sets. He does only have a spinner. T spikes. I don't do that much. I think Landris is a good lead. His matches up pretty well. Versus most of his members, especially with Drill. Uh, this could obviously be Zoroark. Or Zoroark, however you call that one. But I don't think Zoroark can all call Landris, so. I think I can just click Supersonic Sky Strike turn 1. And we are faster. And he is a Drill, he's not a Zorog. But I think he was Sash, so it didn't matter if I just earthquake hard. And he's gonna spin here, so there's no point in getting my rocks up. Like, if he's smart, he just spin, uh, spammed the rapid spin there, I assume. <laughs> okay, so I have go ninja and I don't have switch ins to Greninja. <laughs> I guess Majuna is my best switch in, quote unquote. Why does it seem so weak to this? I don't get it, dude. I mean, usually you set up your vet, I get that, but it was just hard to get it up. So, uh, Specs Ash Greninja with Ice Beam. So, he's probably gonna go. This destroys him, so I'm gonna set up a shift gear. He doesn't have much for this. I don't think Cartana can Oko me. I guess maybe All Out Pummeling can Oko me. I'm gonna Kalk if Ice Beam kills me real quick. Uh, if Ice Beam kills him. I don't remember if this Majuna is modest. I think it's Timid. Which is the better stat because it outspeeds stuff after shift game. Majuna was Cartana. Ice Beam has a chance to kill, so I guess we're gonna go for that. How much does he move do? Uh, let's say he's uh, all out pummeling. That doesn't kill me, so I, I'm tempted to set up a Calm Mind. So I'm just gonna set up a Calm Mind. I might regret this. But he just goes for Sacred Sword and gets a crit. I don't know why that was his play. Uh, steel move does more to Majuna, good sir, because Fairy is weak to steel. So it's neutral. So I'm not sure what this guy's doing, but Ice Beam is gonna kill him now. If he doesn't have- Oh, he's Sash! Now I look like a noob. Oh, we get the freeze. That's so lucky and bad. I'm sorry. Oh, okay, I've been lucking this poor guys today. Uh, I can just click t bolt here. Not that it matters. I mean, Ice Beam is fine, but... I don't think Greninja can revenge me with a Water Shuriken because I have a Calm Mind up. And he's not in his Ash form yet, so I should be good to go. Goes to Tapu Lele. Um, why did he say wow? For a second, I thought I got the para, but I didn't. Maybe he's specs or something. Uh, he's HP fire and he kills. Wow, that's probably specs. I don't know why he said wow, though. So. That should be specs, because it killed me. 
So what I'm gonna do here is set up my Aurora Veil. Yeah, he's definitely specs, and we can just freeze dry because he doesn't have switch in. If I was him, I would probably set my Cartana here, but he doesn't. I mean, the freeze sucks, but hmm. yeah, it freeze sucks. I can't say anything. Um, hydro pump might kill me. Let me see. Nine tails custom set versus. Uh, go ninja choice bags, choice bags, choice bags, and then make it 103 special attack. How to pump the 65? If I have a light screen up, how much does it do? Uh, 33 to 38. So I don't. This doesn't kill me. So I'll just go for freeze dry here. Wait, why the fuck am I faster? Oh, it's Zorok. It's Zorok. Okay, that makes sense. But Flamesword does absolutely nothing. I can encore him here and then I can uh, set up my Cartana and just win the game. Uh, did I say Cartana? I meant Zygarde. But yeah, I'm gonna encore him. Uh, this might be Specs actually, so I didn't even have to encore. But yeah, now I go Zygarde and we set up uh, Dragonlance. We also got 4 more turns of Aurora Veil. Uh, 3 more after he switches out here, he's probably gonna switch out unless he's going for a burn. Hail ends too, so we don't take any chip damage from Hail, which is nice. Yeah, I think I lost the game off. I lost a game off screen with this team when I was testing, but it has been doing pretty well on the recording so far. Cause I, I just haven't used Veil ever, so I misplayed it a bit. Pretty sure Ice Beam can't kill me, but I'm gonna Kalk. Zygarde, custom set. Ice Beam does 69 to 82, so I think I just do. I do I speed Beedrill after one Dragon Dance? I have 411 speed. How much does Beedrill hit? Beedrill offensive. Yeah, I do outspeed and kill Beedrill. The only question is... Oh, never mind. I don't outspeed Beedrill. What am I saying? So I have to drag Nance again here, I think. He might he might revenge me with Water Shrink anywhere later. But I want to drag Nance just to outspeed his Beedrill. He hits the Hydro that does absolutely nothing. I'm, I'm not going to DD again because I don't want to be put in range from Water Shrink. That should be specs damage, right? Because I had a whale up. And this should just win the game from here. Because he's not in his ash from yet, so even if the whale goes down, I don't think he can kill me at all with water shooting. And yeah, he just sacks it. So now he doesn't have priority left. I think he had to hope that he could crit me with water shooting at this point. I did freeze him, which sucks, but I think this is one in the long run anyway. Uh, after I get my veil up, he didn't have any counterplay to that. But let's just see how much Greninja would have done to... How much would Greninja ha have done with the Ash Water Shuriken? Uh, if there was no veil... Uh, it wouldn't even have killed me, well... Uh, he had to get like a max roll to kill me. So now he's just gonna have to sack his entire team to this, so we can grab for, we can grab another one because this game is over. Yeah, Beedrill dies to um Beedrill dies to T arrows, I'm just gonna lead Grin again, I'm not trying to think too much. And everything else dies to T arrows. And GG. But I'm just gonna click E speed to change it up and be cool. I think I mentioned this in this. Uh, I mentioned this. Mentioned it in this episode that I'm trying to get this all higher up. But yeah, so we get good opponents and everything like that. I almost clicked. I almost disrespect this poor guy and uh, coil that would have been a scum. Scumbag douchebag move. But yeah, he does lead up with Zard, and I'm just gonna get up a T spike because he doesn't have hazard removal unless it's Defrog Zard. Um, should be Zard Y because that's just what you see all day, every day on the ladder. And I can just go 9 tail 3 get him out of Raw Veil. And the T spike plus Zygot setting up is disgusting and just destroys him. Mm, I mean, he does have like two of the best checks. 
to Zygarde, but does he have checks for Majuna? I think Majuna is the one that I meant, yeah. Like, Majuna is not the one that I meant, but Majuna is the one that puts in so much work. Look at Majuna and look at his team when I have up Aurora Veil. And when I have uh, a Toxic Spike. And he'll just freeze the Royal Encore him. I'm just gonna go hard Majuna here. I think this is fine. Yeah, if I anchored there, it would have looked like a fool. So it goes on the Zard, which is a good play. I think he did. He predict me to go into this. Hmm. Yeah, I think I have to go Zygarde here because flamethrower is gonna hurt. Otherwise, hopefully no burn, and we can. Expect him to go out in the Tangros or Landris here. So what are we gonna do to cover both of those plays? I'm probably gonna go into my Landris here because he should be running Timid and outspeed me, so I should get an Intimidate off if he goes into his Landris. Exactly. So now I get the Intimidate off on his Landris, and I can just click Supersonic Sky Strike, which does a lot to his entire team. So it has worked out, and. HPS doesn't do much because of the Aurovel. He's packing a lot of speed on his Landra, surprisingly. And he just dies because he was offensive HPI. So land out of the way is nice. Now Zygarde is becoming more and more annoying for him. What I can do here is just... Go on my Majorna. I mean Majorna kind of wins if I just get rid of Zard. Do I need Landris? I think I just get out my rocks because he doesn't have hazard control. Um, that, I'm sorry, man. I'm locking these poor souls. That wouldn't. I don't think that would have killed me unless he's if, maybe if he specs. But I'm just willing to sight my Landris. We will see now if he hits another one. If, I don't think it would have killed me. Uh, like he would have twit K on me. Like I was willing to sack it. Now the thing is, if he would have hit the first pump, I probably would have gone to superior on the second pump. And then I mean, we, we don't know what he would have done. He might have double predicting that. But like he cannot really do much. Like if he cannot really double into that, oh man, that sucks. He couldn't have really doubled into Zard anyway because I had rocks up. I mean, he could double, but it would hurt him and he was forced to roost. Anyways, so he was put in the bad spot. I don't like his team. Zard well without having control. He could be Zard well with default, but still. That's not. Nah, that's not. That doesn't. Like, I know Amp got top 10 with that NJMP team with three defoggers, but at least he had multiple defoggers. Like, Zard is the only defogger that's no set. Like I said, I don't need this, so I can just fly up here. And I just get damage on the Tangros. He can go to Slowbro if he wants to, that's completely fine with me. And I do miss, which is deserved, because I hexed him. And I just get my Veil up now, because so like that miss doesn't even hurt me that much, because I just get this in, I get my Veil up. I know I only have 5 turns because he knocked off my Light Clay, but I'm still in a good position. Still in a really good position. Um, oh my god, I didn't even think about that. Oh, I don't have hair on this 9 heads. Uh, that was a misplay on my part, guys. Um, I already had this game won in my head, but then I fucked up. So let's, let's not get too cocky. See, this is what I'm talking about. Rocks forcing him to roost. I could just drag Nance up because if he goes into Tangros, I know 100% that the HP ice is coming and I can just go back into my nine tails. Because he's going to be forced to HP as if I DD up here. Um, I don't think he's gonna be packing HPIs. Uh, he's a root fine to the solar beam and then probably focus blast. He doesn't have a duck to you. The only reason you would run HPIs in your Zard is if you if you either lacking roost or you have a doggy to trap trend so you don't can afford to run HPIs over focus blast. But I don't think he's not packing either. So I'll just go back in the like I said. And I can I can't afford to play like I did because if he goes back into Zard. He still t like it doesn't matter because he's gonna be forced to roost again. Um, but I can just freeze right overall. That's my best play, I think, because I can probably two hit KO his Charizard. We will see if it does two hit KO. Uh, it doesn't two hit KO. That that pitiful damage. 
Um, but I can freeze dry him again, and if he roosts, I can encore him, and if he flamethrower, the thought is pretty much dead. So now I can encore him into roost. He will not see this coming, and I can probably just go back into my zygote. I mean, this was not, <laughs> to be honest, I didn't play this optimal. But yeah, he's still. Now that he's locked into roost, I can even go in my. I can go into my Majorna because Majorna just wins the game, yeah. Majorna wins the game. If he's locked into roost, because I can. I can comment up, the sun is gonna end soon. If he goes Tangros. Um, I can just Ice Beam. I was thinking about Shift Gearing. Yeah, Shift Gear would have been the better play. Shift gear would have been the play that would have won me the game, but I wasn't sure. Hmm. I wasn't sure if I kill him because I thought he could live for some reason. But he obviously doesn't have leftovers, he just has a assault vest. I was thinking he had leftovers for some reason and that would kill him with ice beam after I shift gear. But yeah, if I shift gear there I would have just won. Um, I win the game anyway, so it's not a big deal. Now that his Tangors is gone, my Zyga just destroys him. He still has a slow roll, but I don't know if he's gonna be packing ice beam. Just gonna go back to Zaya. He's forced to flame through. So I'm at plus one thanks to the calm mind boost, and that's a fuck ton because I didn't have a, 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 a raw veil up this time. Mm. I just go for T arrows here because Slowbro with his mega just walls me anyway, so there's no point in setting up. Like I said, Zaya destroys him, but it doesn't really destroy him. Yeah, I thought he was just gonna pick me up. I don't know what I'm talking about, LMAO. But yeah, what we can do here is go nine tails, set up the raw veil. And we're good to go from there. Flamethrower doesn't even kill me. Mm. I kind of wanted that to kill me though. But he cannot He cannot set the sun back up. Now he's on guard, he does the rocks if he switches out. He's locked into Flamethrower, which means... I guess I go Grin here. Yeah, this is kind of bad. I play this non-optimally. Uh, I'll just gunk here. There was no point for him switching since he died to rocks, like I said. And if he's Scarf Lily, I don't know if that even kills me because I have Aurora Veil up. I don't think that kills, to be honest. So I'm gonna stay in to see if I can live a side shock. I think I can. Oh, maybe not. We will see. I'm just curious to find out I'm not gonna cult this. Yeah, I don't know why you're taking so long, like... That kills, wow! But the thing is, now Majuna wins because I have my screens up. So it didn't matter what I did there. Uh, I can just shift you to outspeed him. He's gonna take another round of hail and poison. Actually, no hail is gonna end here. Maybe command is my better play because I don't have... To, I outspeed his slow bro anyway, so I think command is the better play. Unless he crits me. Yeah, my veil is gonna end. Uh, I'm just gonna ice beam. Oh, T-Wolf was my better play. I had no. There was no reason to ice beam ever. Um, I'm messing up. I'm playing this uh, awful, but he should die to this. Yep. So we do win the game here, unless he crits me with HP fire. And Superior should also live HP fire, even if he crits me. So he has to crit me twice. No, I don't think a crit kills. But yeah, I don't know why I HP fired. That was never the play. GG to this man, and we were gonna grab uh, another one. Let me pause it real quick. Okay, we got a game versus a double trapper team, which is disgusting. The only thing that can stop me from getting up a raw Velis is Greninja, so... Hmm. Nah, I think I can just leave with my own Greninja again and just... Because um, his defog has Mew, which will get poisoned when it defogs, so this is pretty much optimal. This is what I want. The thing is, if I T-Spikes here and he Volt switches into Dougie and he's Scarf, he can trap me, but he should be Zemo Dougie looking at his team. Flash cans, okay, that's fine. And what I want to do here is just go into my Zygarde, I think. Because I want to keep my uh, Greninja alive. To get to potentially set up hazards again. Oh, okay, now I look like Jesus. I think I can just coil up here. He goes on a Mew, so that's probably Ice Beam. So he's gonna Ice Beam or Wisp here. Mm. 
I don't think he's gonna be able to defog. I'm gonna nine tails here. She defogs here a little like a fool. Yeah, he goes for wisp. This is fine. Uh, I think he's gonna be willing to go for defog here because it gets rid of my veil if I go for veil. So I'm gonna go into my uh, superior here to get an evasion boost. He should really go for defog here. It says best play. We do get the evasion boost. And we're gonna sub down now. Shoutouts to Superior being scum behind. Um, but the evasion boost, it's a scum strategy. <laughs> I really hope we can get a sweep, a sweep with this. But he does hit his ice beam, so his, his Mew is well trained. But yeah, my main purpose here is I'm setting down to weaken his Mew. And if his Mew is dead, I can set up my. Actually, there's no point in setting up T Specs. It only hits two. Actually, it hits three months, so maybe there's a point. So he softballs up. I get to leaf storm him. If he got Pharaoh's one, that boosts my. Um, my leaf storm boosts my special attack anyway, so I can actually fire blow that away. How do people hit all their moves? Um, but he doesn't have switch ins at all to leaf storm, so I'll just click it again. No point in leaf storming, uh, no point in subbing and losing my health. I did the mistake earlier already. I don't know if, if I recorded that game or if it was off scheme. I think I recorded it. Uh, I don't remember. I'll have to check at the end of the video. Or when I upload it or whatever. But yeah, he's gonna go into pins there, I guess. I thought he would want to kill me with a quick attack. But Dagi being disgusting here, if he's... He might go for the reversal. Um, so either the move Dagi or the move... The move Gren. Like if I'm predicting a reversal here, I go for Lee's Sheet. If he's Scarf... Uh, I'm gonna go for Lee's Sheet predicting a reversal, he's Scarf Stone Edge. So that, I think I made the correct play. She you know, at least them would have been the better play. But yeah, Stonehenge can't 2 it KO me unless he crits. Uh, okay, I think I can just go for HP Fire because I don't want to risk missing a Leaf Storm and I don't need another boost. As he wasn't Scarf. Um, that was my my bad, guys. Dark Trio naturally outspeeds Superior and I'm, 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 on some, I'm on some drugs. I think he was Focus Sash, I don't know. But at least she was me predicting him to go for Reversal. And yeah. I think if we can get one more after this, he's probably gonna crook attack here. I do not really need my superior at this point. And I can just go into Nine Tails and set up the overall. Well, he did not mega evolve, so he's just he just fucked up really bad. Um okay. So he just said take the game, I don't want the game, and we're gonna get another one. Let me let me look for one. Whew, it's lit. Yeah, that guy just said I don't wanna win. You can you can take the win. But yeah, let me see what we have. It's chance the offense. Get off my screen. Get off my screen, dude. Yeah, this is fine. Um, I can lead nine tails. Get up my veil early. There's not really a point in getting up uh, T spikes this game. Regular spikes are nice for the chip damage, though. But yeah, T spikes not really that good because he has a muck. But they will have roar veil here. Start the timer. I ain't trying to have you take five minutes every turn. I do realize when I use teams like this, it's kind of mindless and I just click buttons, so... Uh, actually, not every turn. Sometimes I actually thought about my plays. But if I do make a misplay, it's because of that. It's kind of mindless. Like I'm in the mindless mode. Mm, I kind of want to encore him, but he might just be... I don't think that's bandit. Mindless has bad defenses. That's just mammoths and being strong. If I encore him, I get a free switch into Landris. So I think that's a fine play because I just don't want him to set up rocks. That's why I made this play. And now I get a free switch into Landris. And he doesn't have a good double switch that beats my Landris. His best double switch would beat Gyarados here. And I have I have Aurora Veil up, so I'm in a good position no matter what he does here. And if he stays in, okay, he doesn't stay in. He goes in the Pharaoh throw. If he makes that play, I just get to I just get to click Sky Strike here. Do good good uh, she, I think Earthquake is the better play. Because Earthquake puts him in range to die from Supersonic Sky Strike. And getting rid of Ferrothorn is nice. Ferrothorn is a nuisance. Subseed Serp 
So Pyrrhic can like lead sheet all over his team if I get rid of Pharaoh, I don't have to predict anything. He does go protect. Ah, oh, protect toxic Pharaohs on low ladder plays are disgusting. That is no set. Get off my screen right the fuck now. So I guess I'm gonna get up on rocks. We're gonna he's probably gonna leech or get up his own hazards. That Pharaoh's on set is disgusting. We do dodge a lead sheet with just this JK. We didn't really luck him. But his set is just disgusting. I don't want to be. Oh man, I want to go hard superior, but if he toxics me, I'm in a bad position. Because my Serp is nice to have. So I think I'll just go 9 tails because I have HP fire. And he does protect, which is a bad play, in my opinion. Uh, we do HP fire him here, which probably doesn't kill because 9 is pretty bad, pretty weak. 9 itself is weak and bad, but overall it is busted. That did 5. I just set my veil so that might not have been the play. But now we go sub. Do we go Serp? No, I think we just go Majuna and click Ice Beam here. Uh, Serp might have been the better play because it doesn't allow his Mammoth Swan to get up rocks. I don't know why he would ever protect that. This guy's fucking bad. Because if I comment up there and like this guy can just straight up lose to this. Actually, I guess he has Chansey. But his play was awful because he didn't even get leftovers. Like, there was no point in protecting, basically. So he goes on a chance, which is fine because he has to take hail, ice beam, and rocks. So I don't know what is this rock set because this guy has like three potential rocks. That doesn't he just hasn't been going for rocks. But I'll just go Grand because if he doesn't heal here this turn, I can taunt him next turn. Now I can taunt him so he can't heal. The Toxic is actually disgusting. Like, he has Toxic and Pharaoh and then Chansey. Like, it's really annoying that my Grand is poisoned, but... Um, I can taunt him here. He doesn't have Hellard Control. I can get up a Spike afterwards. Which is really nice, actually. Because his entire team is grounded other than uh, Gyarados. Which takes rocks up on switching. And I think now I can just Gunk Shot because he seems to be... He seems to be willing to stay in, like he just doesn't care about switching. If he switches out, he takes Hazard later with his Chansey, so now his Chansey is gonna be as good as that. So I just have to go to something that can kill the Chansey. Um, I think Zygarde can kill him, but uh, I'm not gonna risk anything, and I'm gonna call it, obviously. Chansey defensive doesn't die to that, so I think Landis is my play. With Earthquake definitely kills. And I'm not letting this Chansey heal. If he switches out, that's completely fine with me because he's pretty much at like 6% after rocks and spikes. If I made, if I did my calc, my math correct in my head, this is completely fine. Like, it's definitely annoying, but he's Moxie, so I'm not gonna let him set out. I'm just gonna smack down. And I can actually lose to this if he's the correct set. If he's Dragon EQ, Waterfall, Skystrike, I just lose to this, but he is uh, slower, so now he's in range from E-Speed, never mind, I don't lose. Uh, he should be in range from E-Speed at 27, let me calc to be uh, sure. Uh, Gyarados, Fly, Z-Move, dies to E-Speed 100% of the time, so I can just sack this, I don't need this, and then I call E-Speed. This game should be a wrap. Cause he doesn't have anything to Oko my Zygarde, I drag him up on my neck trick and then I kill his entire- Oh he has Ice Shot, yeah he has Ice Shot. So here yeah, I actually lose to Mammoth so I'm kinda... Mm. Not if I play it correct I can win because I have the hazards up. I have... Superior that can take Ice Shot and kill his Mammoth with Leaf Storm and... Muck doesn't want to take Leaf Storm. Repetitive leaf storms either. The crit and marrow. Yeah, I'm actually the game isn't over yet. I, I spoke a bit too soon. This guy can definitely still win. But it's uh, heavily in my favor. Yeah, let's go Mammo. I think he's just gonna ice shard. Uh, so if Superior takes two ice shards, I might go Superior. But it's probably not the play to make. Uh, Mammo Swine. Yeah, I think he might Icicle Crush here. So I'm gonna make the Magina play. Yep, exactly. And now he's gonna off which means I'm gonna go Superior. 
The important part is keeping my Zygarde at full so I can take HPIs from my neck trick. And yeah, now I can leave Storm, so I think I played this correct. I'm not sure if I win the game, but I'm pretty, sh pretty sure that I played this correct. Not not the entire game, but this se sequence. And I'm pretty surprised that he didn't just sack his Chansey off, because his mark is gonna... Okay, never mind, that, that fucking zero. I should've just lead sheet, this was a misplay. Uh, if he pursues me here, that's a really good play. He should pursue here, because... <laughs> Yeah, I have no business staying in. Maybe I could have predicted that. Thankfully, he doesn't get the poison, but I think I'm in range to die from my eyes shot now. Which means I'm gonna have to go for Shifki here so I can outspeed his entire squad. And he just stayed in with Rush. That was the biggest misplay he could have ever made, because now he just loses to Majorna. Unless he pulls out some move that I don't know about, but I think he just loses to this. Yeah, he just made the biggest mistake ever, because after Hazards, there's um, no chance that this lives. I just click Ice Beam here. And yeah, my Jonah just wins the game from here. Because I get a plus 2 boost, and after the hazards, my Nectric should be in range from plus 2 Ice Beam. I, I didn't cock it, but I'm pretty sure it is. And he just disconnected, so. I'm not sure how long this episode was. I think 40 minutes, something like that. Thank you guys for watching, we will see if he comes back, but I think this is a good time to end it on. And. Like I said, the series is all about. I don't know if I mentioned this in this. The series is all about a. Your sets, you guys suggest a sets to me, or you can also just suggest one Pokemon and don't say anything about it. And I will build around that Pokemon, and you can suggest course. This is everything is mentioned in my first video about this series, like the introduction. That video will always be linked um, either in the description or at the end of the video, so you guys can check that out if you have any questions or ask me in the comments or my Discord. My Discord is uh, dogrich hashtag five eight thirteen. And this, this guy's not coming back, so Majuna gotta win. I'm a bit sad that we didn't get a sweep with, uh, with a evasion superior. <laughs> but we, it actually it definitely did put in some work this life, so I'm proud. It's nice. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, let me know if you want me to do this series with friends, or if it's fine if it's just me. Like I said, I'm trying to get this out higher. We're in 1300s now, which is not that high, but it, we're gonna we're gonna climb up higher. Don't worry, friends. I kind of want to get one more, but it, I'm also tired, so I'm going to leave it at that. And also, let me know how long you want the episodes to be. And have a fantastic day. And Dr. Shani out. See you guys next time.